All right, so we already established that your catalytic converter got stolen and why it got stolen. So what happens to the catalytic converter after it leaves the local criminal's hands that just made a quick buck off of your cat? The catalytic converter itself goes to a recycler or a local automotive recycler, automotive dismantler. Those are the people that are gonna buy the cat from the smaller uh, person that's stealing them off of your vehicle from church, home, work, all those places. Now. The larger dismantlers, like here in Stockton, there's a lot of them up in Rancho Cordova, Sacramento, the Bay Area. There's recyclers all over that seem to be buying these cats. And there was just this giant ring busted in the last week that went through Northern California, Oklahoma, uh, and ended up being a pretty much a ring leader was in New Jersey. So we're gonna get there in just a second. And also make sure you check out my other video library or my other videos in my library. I have a lot of the emissions ban that's going on worldwide right now. And I'm gonna be keeping you up to date on these catalytic converters. So now that we have the local dismantler has your catalytic converter, they paid 50, 100 bucks for that catalytic converter. Now they're gonna take that cat and take it to a larger like decanter where they're gonna open that catalytic converter. Inside that catalytic converter is precious metals. Rhodium seems to be the most precious at this time. It seems to be only used in making caps too. Unless you know what it's used for, and if you do, let me know, like comment below, please. Uh, it seems to be only rhodium in cats, or that's what mostly used for is in cats. There's also platinum and palladium, but who cares about those when you're dealing with a metal that is over $25,000 an ounce sometimes, and that's rhodium. So these local dealers, they take them to the cannery, decannery, the one in New Jersey that just got busted, they were pushing $528 million worth of precious metals through this one company. It was DG Auto Recyclers, I think DG Auto Recyclers out of New Jersey. They had multiple locations and they were decanners of catalytic converters from all over the United States. They weren't just from catalytic, I mean California, but I believe it was 21 states that was involved that was sending catalytic converters to this business, multiple locations in New Jersey that was the decanner. Now, after they decanned the catalytic converters, they sold the inside of the cats to a metal refinery. And that process is where they got the rhodium, platinum, palladium out of them. And if you think about it right now, there's only a giant truckload. So a big Connex container, big rig container, Connex shipping container, full of rhodium throughout the world. That's it, that's all we have to work with. So there's not much of rhodium. And Eventually, we're going to go to EV vehicles and not use cats so much, so maybe the price of rhodium will go down and the demand of cats being stolen will go down as well. And also, another thing, aftermarket cats aren't worth as much for some reason. So if you have an aftermarket cat already, don't even worry about it. So that's the breakdown of pretty much what has been happening to catalytic converters through the United States up until now. Hopefully, this makes a big dent on what's going on. And if it did, or if your catalytic converter got stolen, make sure you comment below. Let me know the year, make, model of the vehicle that you have that your cat got stolen. It'd be nice to know what kind of vehicles are the most popular. Seems to be about the mid-2000 F250s, and the Honda Accord seem to be the most popular as of right now. Like, subscribe, and share. Check out my video library. Been doing a lot of stuff on the emissions ban going worldwide, and I have a lot of helpful DIY videos on your vehicle. Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. I'll see you on the next hopefully helpful video.